Welcome to the demonstration video of the Big ER Modeling tool, which offers hybrid textile and graphical modeling to create entity relationship models and is available as an extension for the Visual Studio Code Editor. My name is Philip, and I will guide you for the rest of this video. To start using the modeling tool, simply install it from Marketplace by searching for the tool name, clicking on Install. Once the extension is installed, make sure a folder is opened and the extension only gets activated on .erd files, so we will create a new file, save it, call it demo.erd, and this activates the extension. To create a new model, we have to provide the ER diagram at the top together with an appropriate name. This already lets us open the diagram view, and we now have the choice to add new entities either textually or in the graphical view. And we can add another one, which automatically gets renamed, and all of them do not contain a primary key, so we will do that. And attributes can be added simply inside the curly brackets, so we will give it the ID, student ID, and mark it like this as a primary key. I will now just copy-paste this here, and rename this entity to professor. Renaming is also possible inside the diagram view. And we rename this to course. To create a new relationship between entities, we simply have to provide the relationship keyword with a name and the participating entities inside. The relationship can also include attributes. This is only shown by hovering over them. And extending them to ternary relationships is easy as well by just providing a third entity at the end. The tool also supports weak entities. This is done through the weak keyword for both the entity and the relationship, and the entity also has to include a partial key. Inside the diagram, if we collapse the attributes, you can also notice how both of them are rendered differently, and the attribute is different as well. Another great concept I want to showcase is the support for inheritance. So if we now Add a new entity at the top, this time with a derived keyword, as the age can be derived from the birthday. We now just have to add the extends keyword of the corresponding entity. We can do this for multiple entities. And inside the diagram, this is rendered differently as well. Now, if we think the diagram is finished, we can also generate SQL code out of the model. This is done by providing a generate SQL flag. And if you could see this, a source GAN folder was created with create table statements corresponding to the diagram. Another great feature for both the textual model and the graphical model is validation. So for example, if we have two entities with the same name, we get error messages inside the editor we have problem messages here, and we also have a warning message here. To conclude the demonstration of this tool, I want to highlight again its key feature, which is the hybrid modeling approach between both the textual model and the graphical model. This is done for most of the actions happening, and is realized through implementing the language server protocol for communicating actions between the components, such as when we rename refactor an element, this is an action communicated through the LSP. And this also works for rich text editing features, such as the bracket closing or highlighting occurrences. The hybrid modeling approach is not realized everywhere. For example, when we move elements, close the diagram and open it again, the positions of those elements are reset because it is automatically laid out every time we open a diagram. With this, the demonstration is coming to an end. And even though I didn't show you all the features included in the tool, I hope I could at least deliver the key concepts and the key features, especially the concept of hybrid textile and graphical modeling, which I think allows the creation of great applications. If you want to try the 
big ER modeling tool. We recently released the first version to the Visual Studio Code marketplace, so feel free to try it. And if you want to check out the code or contribute to the project yourself, check out the repository on GitHub. Thanks for the interest.